I see it as being very, very important to consider three things in terms of improving your swimming performance, and that can really relate to any distance that you're racing at. A lot of swimmers only consider swimming technique as being the primary thing to actually improve, and that, of course, swimming technique is very important. We're a swimming coaching company based primarily around swimming technique. But also a lot of people tend to sort of forget about the, uh, the focus on swim specific fitness and developing swim specific fitness in the pool for, for the open water, etc. And then finally, the third key, as we call it here at Swim Smooth, is to discuss how to adapt your stroke properly to the open water. So that sounds like fairly vague advice in terms of there's no specifics behind it, but what I'm really trying to say, I guess, is that if you consider how to improve your technique, how to make sure you're in good physical shape and you can hold a good sustained pace over a, over a long distance and then how to adapt your stroke to the conditions so you know that might be to change your stroke style over the top of the water to get your arms clear of the water that's how you're going to get the absolute best from your swim this year well in tomorrow's discussion we're actually going to be talking about how to use um, a, a, a product called the tennis uh, the tempo trainer the tempo trainer is a fantastic little device to allow a swimmer to judge their pace. So let's say, for example, you're, um, you're a, a triathlete and your um, pace, your average pace for a 1500 meter swim is 1 minute 40 per 100. This little gadget allows you to pop it underneath the swimming cap, it beeps at you at a predetermined interval. So let's say, for example, 140 per 100 breaks down to 25 seconds per 25 meters. You can literally plug in 25 seconds and like a little beep test on the running, it'll beep every time you're at the end of the lap. Very, very simple. But the nice thing about it is it's so accurate that you can reduce that interval time down by one one hundredth of a second improvement. So think about it, next week you could get back in the pool and just set it to maybe tenth of a second faster. You wouldn't notice that difference, but on a cumulative basis over 10 weeks, you'd start to see those improvements happening. And, uh, and we see in our, in our squad over in Perth, within a 10 week period, an average improvement with a group of 180 athletes of around about three or four percent which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you do the numbers and math behind that, you're talking around about a minute and a half improvement over 1,500 metres. And it's all about just keeping it very simple, knowing what your threshold pace is to start off with, using the Finise Tempo Trainer Pro to actually pop it underneath your cap and actually measure the pace and make sure you're staying with the beeper and doing some structured set sets around that. So that's what we're going to be talking about tomorrow here at the uh, 220 Triathlon Show. Golden rule for the Ironman triathletes really is a little bit following on from what I've just discussed there is we talk a lot at Swim Smooth about how important it is to pace your efforts out. I remember as a, as a swimmer at university, I did a, entered a 1500 meter swim and um, it, it went straight to a final, which meant that I was actually swimming by the side of me was somebody who could swim 15 minutes 25 for a 1500 meter. And I was probably in around about 18, 17 and a half, 18 minute pace, which as a triathlete is actually very good. But I made the mistake of going off way too fast. I did the first 100 meters in 62 seconds, which was his pace that he sustained for 1500 meters. And I simply blew up. And for most of my triathlon career, that's what I was very, very bad at doing. I, I had the swimming fitness, I had the swimming style, etc. But I had a very bad habit of going off too quick and that really affected my performances. Everyone talks about you've got to go off fast at the start of a race to try and get on someone's toes. Yes, that's important, especially to benefit from drafting, but if you push it too hard too soon, you're gonna blow up. And that's no more important, obviously, than for, for the Ironman swim, where you've got 3.8 Ks, then you've got 112 miles on the bike, or 180 Ks, and then a 42 kilometer run. It's a long day out there, and if you blow it all in that first three or 400 meters on the swim, it's, it's bad news. So we use, uh, going back to the previous question, we use the Tempo Trainer Pro to control people's pacing. And every Wednesday morning, we have a very, very uh, large squad session around about 45, 50 swimmers. We're all doing Ironman, Ironman training. It's a hard training session. It's four and a half to five kilometers of swimming. We don't use any technique work. We don't use any drills or paddles or fins or anything like that during that particular session because the primary focus is all about pace awareness. It's about pace judgment at your race given intensity and then sort of trying to develop on from there. So um, yeah, very important as an Ironman athlete and really any athlete swimming any distance over 400 meters really for triathlon to make sure you've actually paced things out correctly.